Welcome back. Sensational weightlifting um, action you've just uh, witnessed from uh, the Apauto um, complex right here in Port Vila. Still the 10th Pacific mini games. More medals given out to countries like Fiji, Nauru, Solomon Islands, Papua New Guinea, um, and more medals still to come um, in the competition. Coming up next, we'll be uh, giving you highlights um, of the women's uh, weightlifting competition um, earlier this morning. Um, that's uh, 48 kgs and 53 kgs clean and jerk category. And welcome back to us here to Patu as you join us now for this uh, second session clean and jerk in the women's competition. We've got the women's 48 category and the women's 53 out on the platform at the moment. This is the young Naruan Akua. She has a big 63 kilos over her head for her first clean and jerk. And let's see what the judges think about that. She gets one red light. She's got two white. So therefore, the verdict is hers. Maybe a slight suggestion about that right arm of hers. Not allowed to unlock. But uh, Akua there doing the job. 63, so she's away. Big news is, if you're just joining for the first time today, a momentary lapse by Thelma Tour. And then later, her sister, Dika momentarily disrupted uh, Papua New Guinea's uh, predicted gold medal rush in the women's uh, 48 and 50 categories. Fortunately, both girls uh, basically controlled themselves, managed to get away with some good lifts, and in the end, it was a pretty comprehensive victory for both in the women's 48 and the 53. So the two sisters doing the job here in Vanuatu. First gold medal is going out to PNG. This is the under-15 Queensland champ now, the young Australian, doing well, Madison Power. Nice lifting. I reckon they're going to give her that one. And she's got 63 on the bar. And the judges agree, so that's good. So it's three white lights. So Madison Power, the under 15 from Queensland. Big competition here for her. Very excited, the young uh, Queensland schoolgirl. That's a repeat of the Nauruan lifter there. A cool. Dries up that uh, 63 kilos. Power has followed her as well. So there's a good battle emerging between those two. And uh, here's the replay of the power lift. As I said, uh, under 15 champ from Queensland. then to the women's 48 just uh, if you are just joining us just a reminder that we've got two categories amalgamated here we're watching the 48 and the 53s so we're back down now to Milani Fiji first attempt 65 kilos for her <laughs> Milani settle settle away Milani there good lift no. In fact, two of the judges didn't like it. She looks around a little bit shocked. I must say I am as well. But uh, the judges obviously saw something a little bit closer to the platform than I. So she's going to have to come down and uh, repeat that one. Let's have a look in slow-mo, see what uh, the problem is here. Just check the elbows and the arms. And there might be just a slight press on that left arm and if you're right next to us the uh, referees and judges are then you can probably see a little bit more than even the TV cameras can so a couple of them didn't like that uh, left arm of hose and so consequently she's going to be invited to do the job again So maybe Milani's going to take a little bit more. One of the competition gambles, you can uh, have a crack a little bit more. So that means power then will be the next lift around. Six the bar, six four, 65 on the bar for her. She has a, a PB of 70, but uh, difficult to 
replicate that in competition circumstances. Really tough. That's good lifting, and you can see really why she did won that uh, under-15 best and open women's trophy at the Queensland Championships, the school championships recently. Very good lifting. So back to Milani then. She's got this 65, which is causing a few dramas at the moment. <laughs> Better this time. Well, we thought that the first time, actually, the judges spotted something. But this time, yeah, they're in agreement with us. So that's a good 65 for her, a battling 65. So that's good then. Milani then has at least consolidated her position. And a medal will be hers. Back into the women's 53 category. Cool then. Sixty-six on the bar for her. Well, she's a handy lifter, this girl. Judges like it as well, so good lifting from her so far in this competition. That's the fifth clean lift for her. So the young Naruan traveling pretty nicely at the moment in the women's 53. Just have a look at this. Slight suggestion that uh, that left arm not quite as strong as the right-hand side as you see the big press out here at the top of the lift, but uh, certainly good enough to get the white light. Just watch those elbows. That's what the uh, judges are looking for. And this is the all-important, uh, this is the money shot here, front on. Just have a look at the elbows, particularly the left, as she just comes off the platform. Manda Nova then coming up from Fiji. Looks like her first attempt at 68 is next. Basin Lavuka. As I said, um, very promising as a junior and uh, has come back to get involved in weightlifting. It was pressing it pretty heavily, but uh, the white lights are up, and 68 is good for her. So, uh, Alita then is away. Just see that uh, it was just pressing a little bit coming off the platform, but uh, once she got it up, got under it okay. and control the weight. So now a very important lift coming up for the young Naruan because Akua here, if she can get this one, is gonna really put herself in a bronze medal position. Definitely gonna get herself a medal here. She needs this 68 big kilos for her to consolidate some good lifting. Not quite. Uh, she needed that one. So 66 is her best. 
That's no lift. So five out of six lifts for the Naruan. She was in third position at the end of the uh, snatch. And she needed this extra two kilos just to trouble the, uh, the totals. And there are the Australians now. I wonder whether they pointed out to Madison that uh, with this lift, she's got herself a mini games medal. She's certainly going to put herself into contention. She's got 69. This is a big lift for her. Wow, that is very good lifting. She's done 17 competition. That's at home, surrounded by family and friends. But here in Vanuatu, she's done the job. And you can see the smile because she realizes that she's puts huge pressure on the Nauruan now. And also the Fijian lifter. So she's done the job here. OK, so now Fiji then. Meter here with 70 to rest away the initiative. That's a good lift. So you can see just how quickly it turns in weightlifting. Her final lift, 70 kilos. With that 65, of course, she's already secured her medal. A little bit worried about that left arm. Let's have a look at it in slow-mo, see what the judges say. Yeah, they saw it as well. And unfortunately, that's a no lift for her. So 65 is her best has a big 90 in clean and jerk. She posted that at the uh, Commonwealth Champs back in 2015. She's going to start her account here today with 80. Well, there it is. With that one simple lift, she secured another gold medal for Papua New Guinea. That's gold medal number three in this round of competition here this morning on day one of comp here. So a nice steady lift for her. Looked a little bit threatened with the snatch earlier on, but the clean and jerk is when she starts to really come out to play. And you can see that coming off the platform very nicely out of the deep squat. And then just watch the speed with which she gets underneath this big 80 kilos. well secured okay another girl that's been lifting extremely well is Lifu here playing catch up with Dika Tua at the moment but uh, this young talent trains at the Oceania Institute knows uh, Dika Tua extremely well but when it's on the platform it's every lifter for themselves now really it's just her testing herself out That is very good lifting. She's such a technician, this girl, and usually so reliable. That was so unusual to see her drop that snatch earlier on. But that clean and jerk Thelma Tour doing the job. Well, that's good. And the judges like it as well. So that was a good 85 for her. So both these girls lifting extremely well. But they are side by side, know each other intimately, of course. They both train together, Oceania Institute. Lifu here. Look how she has this big jump. 100 big kilos in the bag.
And you can see the smile. There is another gold medal for Papua New Guinea. So, gold medal. And look at her stalking this big weight. Oh, she wants to hurt this 105. She wants to hurt it bad, and she wants it over her head. Let's see how she goes. She is never going to let her fans down. She is never going to let her fans down. Look at that. 110 big kilos. She does it. What she couldn't do with the Commonwealth Championship, she's done here at the mini games, and you can see. Welcome back. And that was, well, that's the replay you've just had. Um, a lot of excitement still at the, the venue. Uh, that's at Epauto, right here in Port Vila, uh, where the weightlifting competition is still happening. You have more coming up um, on, uh, on, the, on this channel. Coming up next would be the 58 kilogram category of women's uh, weightlifting um, competition uh, that's taking place right here in Port Vila. It's the 10th Pacific Mini Games. And welcome back to us here at the Indoor Center for session number three in weightlifting here on day one of competition for the weightlifting. And let me tell you, if you're just joining us for the first time, thank you indeed. Great to have your company. But the headline out of uh, Port Vila today is that when it comes to weightlifting, you cannot go past Team PNG. They have dominated everything they have entered from the lighter weight women's classes all the way through to the men as well. Three categories they have lifted in, and three categories they have won. It's been quite devastating. In fact, they didn't want to make any public predictions before they came up here, but in the end, it was the two sisters, Thelma and Dika, dominating the women's 58 and 53 category. And then more recently, we've seen in the men's 62, it was Mr. Moria Baru, who broke a Pacific and Oceania record on the way through to winning the men's at 62. But in an intriguing showdown, there's a bit of a byplay, really, was the showdown between the young Nauru and Nelson Brechtefeld and Manuel Tulo in the men's 56. Tulo dominated the men's 56 since 2009, and he knew full well that Brechtefeld had been feeling pretty good about himself and that perhaps this was his opportunity. Tulo had just flown in from the world champs. He'd been competing at Anaheim against some of the world's best, of course in here just a day or so ago and then getting himself set to compete here at the Pato Indoor Center. Not only did he do that, he saw off the challenge of Brechtefeld, who failed a little bit in one of his snatches and then left a couple of clean and jerks out on the platform as well. That's all the opening that the great champ Tulo needed and the rest was history. He wrote himself back into the record books. He walks away with three gold medals from the mini Pacific Games and Fiji celebrates another great victory by him. Solomon Islands weightlifting fans are beginning to uh, crowd around here today because they've got one of their great champions you know, about to get underway as well. That's uh, Jenly Winnie. She's going to be competing here in the women's category. The 58's not too far away. And she's got some very interesting company as well because if you're only just joining us, you might not have been introduced to the lifters as they came out on stage. There's the Samoan Esaia. Samoa Gasse from Guam is here as well. She's been doing some interesting stuff. We'll be having a, a chat about her in just a moment. Manatua from Tuvalu, Kini Kindilau from Fiji. She'll be representing uh, Fiji in the women's 58. And Idian as well from New Caledonia. Certainly got the crowds here from New Cal pretty excited. And we have Uwepa as well from Nauru, one of the uh, famous Uwepa lifters. Related, of course, as they all are up in Nauru at the moment. These uh, weightlifting families seem to be dominating the competitions. And uh, hello again to you out there on the Pleasant Isle. Hope you're doing okay. A lot of good friends out there in Nauru. Uh, Spent a year or two out there a couple of years ago now. Seems like an eternity ago, but we had a lot of fun. And I uh, hope everybody out there is getting behind their weightlifters and certainly enjoying uh, some of the pictures that we're putting together here in Vila for you. I must say, as far as the pictures are concerned, we've got this fantastic crew in from New Cal. In fact, they're drawn from all over the Pacific, uh, are the crews here today and this week. But um, New Cal and us working together on the weightlifting and certainly... Um, they bring you some fabulous shots as well, certainly telling the great stories that are happening here at the Indoor Centre, here at the Mini Games. 
not too far away from welcoming our first lifter to the platform. This is the women's 58. It is a single category, quite a large group of lifters, seven in all. And the first of our lifters that we're going to be welcoming out on the platform will be Manutu Gutu Manutu, who is from Tuvalu. But it looks like the lifters are about to put on some more discs out the front. And uh, they'll be sorting things out for us on the main platform. So it looks like she might be taking a few more. As we were saying today, weightlifting is a little bit more than just coming out here and just brute forcedly putting big weights up above your head. There's all sorts of strategies, tactics involved. We saw a lot of that to play in the Breckfield Tulo showdown earlier on today. And uh, it was very interesting to see some of the byplay, some of the interactivity, and uh, just some of the machismo that was going on out the back there as uh, Manuel Tulo, the alpha male, just uh, dominating uh, the young pretender on the pride. But uh, let's welcome to the stage then our first lifter here this afternoon in this women's category, women's 58. Uh, from Tuvalu, this is Gutu Manatur. Well, no lift for her, so just going to have to settle the nerves down a little bit, I think. So 55. She'd originally gone for a 45, and I just wonder whether that might be playing on her mind a little bit. But 55, it's going to have to be. So we've had some really healthy crowds in here this afternoon and this morning as well. I mean, they're really getting into their weightlifting. It's quite amazing. It's free. So if you are around Vila, you want to come up and enjoy some super competition because believe me, this is Commonwealth standard weightlifting. Might be small by name, but as I said before, Mini Games is really turning it on as far as uh, weightlifting quality is concerned. Again, just over correcting, and we've had this problem all day. Some of these younger, inexperienced lifters, they come out here, they work, they're anxious, they're nervous, they want to do the right thing. And uh, they just hurry these lifts. She's just getting underneath it a little bit too quickly there. You're going to see the slow mos in just a moment. You see exactly what I'm saying. Strong enough to control the weight, but it's what you do with it when you get it over your head, which is a problem here. That was the first attempt going down the front. Now, if we get the second attempt, that's it going down the back. So you can see there's a technique issue here. So she's got the strength to get the weight. The question is, can she control the weight when it's over her head? There's young Rayobu there, who we saw in the snatch just a little while ago, the 17-year-old from Tuvalu, just giving you a little bit of a hint. He's got great technique, that kid. She should be listening to what he's got to say. Okay, well, she's going to have to get this one because if she doesn't, it's the dreaded bomb and uh, she won't total. She's got a, a chance, of course, on the clean and jerk, but it uh, would be lovely for her just to steady the nerves and get this one. Let's see how she goes. Controlled it. You could just see how she had to move her backside out a little bit just to get underneath that weight. It wobbled there for a moment. It was had all the earmarks of going down behind her, but uh, she just got underneath it and controlled it. She's not happy, but at least she steadies the nerves and she's done the job. So, an Olympian in the corner of this young lady, Eliopolongi, out there with Jerry Warwick. And uh, here she is, Asaia. Asking for 57 as her first attempt. The Samoan weightlifting machine, probably one of the best in the Pacific, national weightlifting at least. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? No mucking around at all. Yeah, they've got some uh, 
real dynamite in the uh, so and I'm sorry, Samoan corner, Ellie Opalonga just had a picture there. She is, of course, a gold, no, no, she's a silver medalist from the Beijing Olympic Games. Jerry Warwick has done amazing things with his Samoan weightlifting team. Incredible. We'll uh, tell you a little about Jerry and uh, the Samoans in ensuing sessions. We want to keep an eye open here for Kenny Kenny Lau from uh, Fiji, who's lifting next. Here she is. Another one of these young lifters with lots of talent. Just 15 years of age. Another nice lift. Good work. So, Jessica Ijan then, 60 kilos, her opener, New Caledonia. <laughs> nice work. The New Caledonians around us here, they're liking it. So too are the referees. And if she plays her cards right, Ijan, she hasn't been lifting for a great many years. But there's going to be an intriguing battle between her, the next lifter, Uepa, and Sama Gase from Guam behind the great uh, Jen Lee Winnie. Let's have a look at the technique here. Clean lifting, gets it under control, just has to step forward a little bit, a little half step there just to control that weight, but she's okay. That's a good opening lift for her. Okay, so now the battle is joined with the Naruan. And uh, the Nauruan's going to get her on body weight if it comes to a count back. She's just uh, marginally lighter. But no, looks like we're going to go up back to the Samoan again. So here's Asa here. Some of the little uh, Vanuatu fans around here. We need to do a little bit better than that. There she is. And the upper longer there with her arm around her. Just letting you know that uh, she can get this. Just not quite underneath it. Maybe she's going to be a little bit more aggressive with that bar. So Paul Coffer, just uh, giving Ijan there a few uh, pointers. She's got that first lift in the bag. As I said, it's going to be an intriguing battle between she, the Samoan, and uh, Samagase, just simply Samagase from Guam. The three of them could uh, be in contention for at least a bronze, maybe even a silver. But uh, let's see how... Issa Eir from Samoa goes. 
Got the 57, put the 60 down, second attempt. Here's the third. That's better. Underneath it this time. And she's got it. So, 60 in the bag for her. So Jessica is out again. Second attempt, 63 kilos for her. Okay, well, she was very, very close. Just leaving a little bit short. So remember that the snatch is that one clean, clear transfer of weight from ground overhead. Let's watch the technique here. Up, second pull there. Maybe just a little bit too much with a second pull just as it comes up underneath the tummy that second pull there's a first pull there let's watch it off the ground first pull there extension off the bottom of the legs now into the second pull there and that's where she's just leaving a little bit short but um, as we look now at Jacinta Sanmigase from Guam and this would be a revelation as well because I tell you what weightlifting in Guam it hasn't been well it was there it was there in the late 80s and early 90s and um, it was threatening to be a very big sport then just died but CrossFit has revolutionized weightlifting not only in Guam but around the world many people finding the sport of weightlifting through CrossFit and uh, Jacinta Samagase from Guam is one of those people and she's been uh, really doing everything she can this girl she's one of about half a dozen Chamorro Chamoritas that are doing some weightlifting at the moment so let's see what she's asking for the clock's counting she's got 65 she better get out there I don't know what she's waiting for she's got two minutes to get this job done so let's see we're getting a little bit of Chamorro power here eh? Samagase, Guam. Not bad. Crowd likes it as well. A little bit of an exclamation from uh, down here around us. And, uh, yeah, pumps the fish. She likes that as well. So that's a good opener for her. Strong. As I said, if Sammy Gasset plays it right here, it's going to be an intriguing battle between she and Jessica Ejan of New Caledonia and um, Bernarda Awepa as well, the Nauruan, who we're going to see here now. But just have a look at this. This is a strong opener. And again, considering that uh, the lineage of weightlifting has been broken somewhat up in Guam as well. Dr. Mullen Nemus is the uh, head coach up there. He used to be a lifter in his own right many, many years ago. Here's a weapon. Let's check her out. Well, just again, impetuous youth, I would suggest. Uh, just a little bit aggressive with it. Just needs to calm it down a little bit just be a little bit more thoughtful perhaps and uh, just left it a little bit short you can see that just sort of dropped away in front of it just not sure with the ponytail upset a little bit there as well as it came through 
really getting high, getting lots of elevation underneath the bar on the way up. Just needs to get that uh, coordinated a little bit better. Okay, well, that was her first attempt, 65 going down. She'll come back and follow herself. No, she's going to go higher, I think. Might be a good call, actually. It looked like she had a lot in the tank there, so I'd be inclined I, to agree with the coach. No, she's going to follow herself. She is going to stick with the 65. I thought she might have been going higher to a 68, which is not. Okay, well, maybe the coach is thinking, well, we could have taken a bit of a gamble. They're taking a higher, but let's just get one in the bank at 65. Seen a weapon lift in the past. Precocious little talent. Oh, and this time she does it the other way. You see... It's all about technique. These kids have got the strength. Drop it short first time, overcorrect, drop it down the back the second time. Invariably, they get it right the third. Marcus Stephen, the great Marcus Stephen there in a corner. So now the pressure's on. And this is where she uh, finds out about what is what in the world of weightlifting. Confronting the dreaded bomb. Three fails at a lift. It's not a happy position to be in. Fortunately, in this competition, it's not terminal because you can come back and compete in the clean and jerk, but there will uh, be no total for you. Okay. Short first. Overcooked at the second. Another Uepa. <laughs> Technique. Second pull was off. Just did not get the timing right on that second pull. We'll watch this in slow-mo again. And her coach will be ruining this because really the no ruins the most natural lifters. They that second, you can just see it was slightly off. That second pull there as she just brought it off again underneath the tummy. Straight on to the Fiji lifter. Kenny Kinilao has watched all this unfold. She's coming out. She's got a 66. Clever. Just covering everybody else at the moment. Second attempt. <laughs> she can't handle it. Well, these 15 and 16 year olds showing great promise but this is just such a wonderful experience for them really i mean even if they bomb here today they're all the better for the experience okay now the fijian has put down the 66. so that brings out jessica ijan then let's have a look at this again as you can see i've been saying it all day so, now this is a very, very important for this girl. If she can get this, then she's really going to throw down the gauntlet to these other young lifters. This could be the difference between a bronze medal or not. Slow, too slow off the platform. Hesitant, and you're not going to lift 66 kilos with her body weight if you're hesitant. So she got the open all right, but a little bit slow underneath the 66. You could see Koffer took from from 63 the second foul to a 66, but she was just a little bit tentative, and it told. Can you can allow them? She's got the 66. <laughs> Same issue. Well, interesting. So that does leave the door open for Jessica Ejan and Kenny Kinelau with some work to do as well. The two of them really making life a little bit difficult for themselves. They've both got the strength. It's just a little bit of a technique issue. But let's move on. Samagasi is next out. Jacinta Gamma Samagasi. 
Went to the Asian Indoors in Turkmenistan recently, finished eighth in her category, which means she can claim to be eighth in Asia. So Magasi going to 68. Well, normally puts her in first position if she gets this. Well, I think this little girl from Guam is in the zone. She is absolutely just seeing these lifts. You can just see her visualizing this thing as she came out and addressed that. She is absolutely thrilled. Wow. Well, that's very, very good because uh, that's going to be a podium finish, I think, for her. Awepa's done. Ijan is done. Kini Kinilao is done. Manitou is done. So it's basically Winley and Sami Gasse. She's going higher. She's going to 71. Well, this is very interesting for her because I can tell you what, it's going to be her best in competition by three kilos. She did a 68 at the Asian Indoors. And I think that's really given her a great deal of confidence going up there to Turkmenistan. Just look at the way that this girl sort of visualizes and gets over the bar. Just the aggression that she's got, the controlled aggression, which is really what you need in weightlifting. And by the way, to all of you out there in Guam, if you are enjoying these pictures, a big half a day to you. We remember very well the wonderful experiences we all had over in Guam back in 1999 when you hosted us so generously. And uh, we're waiting for that invite again one of these days when we can come back and enjoy some of that tomorrow hospitality, Chimarita hospitality as well. We absolutely loved our days in Guam all the way back in 1999. Do you remember that? Samagasi then from Guam. Just look at the mindset of this girl as she comes out. She's totally in the zone. Well, a little bit of history being made here if this girl can come out and do this. leading the competition and this will put her up beautifully clean and jerk to come just watch the way she addresses this bar oh that's very good lifting Jacinta Samagase would absolutely be delighted with that she has to be the best she's done in competition is 68, and to do a 71 like that in competition, well, 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 goodness gracious me, that is fantastic lifting. So really, she's bolted from nowhere. As I said, uh, just notice that she'd done some work up at the indoors in Asia, in Turkmenistan there, and I really do think it's put her in great stead. So that's a 71 finish for her. She's currently leading the competition. But of course, we have the Commonwealth champion to come, generally winning. But just look at the way she addresses this bar. Gets down. It reminds me of the great Chinese lifters. Just that technique, the way she's addressing the bar. I think she learned a lot up there in Asia. Here's our Commonwealth champion, perennial champion. And that is the mark of a great champion. Has a 15-year-old son now, this amazing, this remarkable athlete. Just incredible. Commonwealth Championship winner. Oceania Championship winner. Pacific Cup International winner. Second at the Oceania Championships in 2016. 
Commonwealth Games Championships, she won it. Oceania Championships in 2015, she won. She won the Pacific Games in 2015. It's just the record and the lifting ability of Jen Lee Winnie is just amazing. She is so reliable and she is so consistent. And I think it's the difference between her and uh, some of the other lifters in this category. She just can't be put off. If you look at her lifting record, invariably it's a six out of six lift record. She very rarely leaves a weight out on the platform. She owns the platform and uh, with that one lift, a big 78, thank you very much indeed. She's taken the first gold medal for the Solomons here at these mini Pacific Games. And now for her, I think, a chance just to play around with a few numbers and a few weights and just see what she can do. Two is this next lift. <laughs> they love it. The crowd here love it. They just can't believe how easily she can do this. When they've seen all the others just struggle with their 60s and their 62s. And here comes this great champion. No histrionics just gets out there and does the job and it's just absolutely relentless this amazing lifting from this lady if you just have a look at what she did at the Oceania Championships last year or earlier on this year she just uh, went out knocked over an 80 knocked over an 84 and then did an 87 and she just knocked over in the clean and jerk of 101 a 104 and a 109 I mean she just never misses her mark so she's going higher so she's got an 82. She leads the Commonwealth rankings list with an 87. They've asked for an 86. I just wonder whether that's a little bit of a ploy. Just wonder whether they're going to take her up around the 88 mark. No, they'll keep her at 87 then. Obviously, they're content today not to uh, press it too much. She won the Pacific Games, incidentally, with an 83 back in 2015. And she leads the Oceania rankings with an 87. So she's going to improve. Oh, no, no, just under that. This is an 86. floor I'm sorry Jenny it's the uh, commentators curse but uh, it's a good result anyway for Jenny Winnie of Solomon's Solomon's winning their first gold medal here at the games with a wonderful demonstration by the ever reliable evergreen weightlifter Jenny Winnie taking out the women's snatch in the women's 58 but the bolter from the field the big news is number two position at the moment, Jacinta Samigase of Guam. She's in second place with some beautiful lifting, a 65, a 68, and a 71. She's never done 71 in competition before. And in fact, it's improved her competition by three kilos, a big PB improvement here to put herself into the silver medal position. And at the moment, she's seeing off the challenge of the younger lifters from New Cal, from Fiji, and also from Nauru. So at the moment, it's Solomon's first leading Guam two in this intriguing battle in the women's 58K category here at the Pacific Mini Games in Vanuatu. We're going to take a little bit of a break, and when we come back, the ladies will join the battle because it will be clean and jerk. Medals on the line here. Solomon's dominating this women's 58, but the big news from early in the day, Team PNG, three from three.
Just to be shy.